page clay chart and this will be a video chart on SBNG sponge check delivery systems incorporated uh, the reason I wanted to do this one today um, was there's quite a bit of drama um, if I may call it that going around uh, the stock and it was one of those days where it's kind of you didn't really know what was going to go on a lot of people were saying that the stock was going to fall apart others were saying no it's a, it's going to be okay uh, the reason being uh, I guess there's a filing that they're waiting um, to, to show up and it's uh, the company PR today that it's going to be late um, again so there's a lot of um, kind of speculation that uh oh things are going to fall apart um, but I must say um, impressive day it shows uh, the shareholder base are, are pretty darn loyal and sure there was some selling and so forth at the beginning of the day which I'll go into um, but from a charting perspective uh, the chart held in there just fine and you know heck even got a, a green candle today um, not green from where it closed yesterday um, but from where it opened today it was um, way above green so gonna hop into this and uh, probably spend the majority of the time on the lesser time frames to kind of break down what happened uh, but from the daily chart the key area that needed to hold today was 10 cents as this is the current support level and as you can see it held like a champ there is a brief little uh, time period where the price dropped below it um, but when using um, the daily chart really all you care about is where does the stock close uh, interday you know this is for the day traders uh, they care about that sort of stuff but for the people that are uh, watching it from a you know kind of longer term perspective um, daily chart you know that's where you just care you know where does the stock close at? Uh, so it did make its way and close um, above 10 cents I know I made a post on iHub early about uh, you know there's a big battle going on here if you're watching the trades which I was this morning you can see that uh, you know there's just a big struggle going on here and I, I said you know whichever whoever decides to win the stocks gonna head up pretty quick in that direction and eventually the bulls clearly won and the stock did make a nice about 20 percent gain in a you know about an hour um, so it did head up and then it pretty much just consolidated the rest of the day uh, but instead of sitting here on the the daily chart let's just uh, hop down um, to the five minute and actually I made a, a video lesson today on this um, based kinda I entitled it you know how to play a bounce because I was watching this and as you can see um, all these candles here are pre-market so the the stock finally opened on this candle right here but you can see that things people are panicking pre-market and so forth just because uh, you know that filing was gonna be late and then here you got the little tweezer bottom and it bounced off from there and this is if you watch the video lesson I did this was a portion I covered right here um, so it made a nice bounce play I didn't uh, you know buy any shares or play it but uh, if anything I kind of paper traded it and walked you through what you needed to watch on a bounce uh, so I'll so you know that if you go through my videos you'll see that one it's a video lesson I did um, but anyways as you can see panic things leveled out here um, here's a good example here on the one minute chart let me get back to that time period where it leveled out but right here you can see that for about five straight minutes the price kept hitting its head down here or hitting its feet whatever you want to say on this level held up strong and then from there uh, the rest of the day it was up uh, let's get back to the five minute and like I said it made its move consolidated and then uh, drifted downwards a little bit um, but the important part was you know it, it did bottom out it this 10 cent area did hold and uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings but um, I'm not going to spend much time here because this is only a five minute chart but just to show the psychology of today you had the panic and then you know the day traders and uh, bottom feeders and investors thinking that these were cheap shares were gobbling these up and you know they had a nice little run there um, as the price hopped upwards looking at the 60 minute chart uh, you can see once again how um, the, the key support levels held uh, what really needs to happen on this chart the 60 minute is this 50 period here this purple line sloping downwards this is the the price level that you want to see the price break and close above um, you know this will help to turn this thing around and make the chart uh, you know get out of this current downtrend it's in as can be seen once again by that 50 period uh, simple moving average Um, but overall, uh, the levels are holding. Uh, just glancing at this, I see uh, 
if I draw this line over here, you can see that this is a previous low here. It's been doing a good job of holding. And then kind of at end place, or to end things, let's go back to the daily. And just to map out, uh, let's say, because I did get this question quite a bit, I said, well, what happens if 10 cents falls a lot? What's the next support level? Well, after 10 cents, we have this previous low down here. Uh, and that's valued at, I think, slightly below 8 cents uh, at 0 0.0785. So these are our two uh, near-term support levels. And like I said, this 10 cent has been holding up like a champ. Uh, if you watched the trade and you saw that uh, there was quite a bit of buying down here and there was a lot of selling this morning too, but it was absorbed pretty well. It did get pushed down momentarily, but that didn't last too long. And uh, then, you know, the rest is history. So um, after watching the trading and seeing how it acted around this 10 cent, uh, you know, that's a pretty, pretty uh, impressive support level. But at the same time, when impressive support levels fall, uh, you can expect uh, bigger drops. So I'm not saying it will fall, but... Uh, just for the sake of argument, if this level can hold, then um, you know I would look for this level to be tested for sure. Just because um, you know it would take quite a bit for this level to fall. So if it does, that's going to imply that there's quite a bit of selling. So I would look for um, this eight cent area to be tested. Uh, you know, in a high likelihood if um, ten cent falls. But like I said, watching it trade, it looks like it's going to take quite a bit for that level to fall. So overall, um, with all the drama and you know uh, negative people out there saying the stock was going to fall apart, I'd say that uh, today the win went to the, the bulls, and um, we'll see what the rest of this week brings. Um, we want to see ten cents hold, and if that happens, and I think that's going to be a good signal that people are you know keeping the faith and uh, holding strong with their uh, shares. On another note, I'd encourage you to check out bullmarketnewsletter.net if you have not already. If you subscribe for the email list there, you will get a free ebook. And then also with your subscription, uh, you'll get chart setups, um, trading ideas, investment ideas, all sorts of things from small caps to big boards, uh, and no strings attached. It is all free. We've been having some really good success uh, with some money-making um, picks for our subscribers, so I'd encourage you to check it out. Once again, this was SBNG. Thanks for listening.